First, there was the 4-inch Eliminator rocket. Then came the 3-inch Mini Eliminator, followed by the 2-inch Micro Eliminator. Today, we complete the series of rockets and we'll be launching the 1-inch Tiny Eliminator rocket. Before we head out to launch the rocket, let's take a look at the design. Starting at the top, we have a really simple 3D printed nose cone. There's a little loop area built into the bottom so that we can attach the parachute recovery cord. Next is the cardboard body tube. Now this makes up two thirds of the body. Now I knew I wanted something around one inch diameter and I was originally gonna buy some Estes tubing and then I realized that I had something already that I could use. I found this nice thick cardboard tube. Now this is the roll that's inside of aluminum foil and it's a really nice sturdy strong tube. It's not like the tube that you would find in toilet paper or paper towel roll that's really weak. Uh, this is a really nice strong tube. So I used this, it was an inch and a sixteenth outside diameter, which is only about one and a half millimeters bigger than uh, one inch that I was looking for. So that was great to be able to reuse that and it was free. So now the parachute recovery cord is glued to the inside of that. This is a little bit longer than it needs to be. I'll trim it down before we launch this. To attach that inside the tube, I used a technique that I learned when I was building SD's rockets when I was a kid. I just simply took one end of the cord, I wrapped it around and just made a little loop. I glued that down to the inside of the body tube with some five minute epoxy. Once that was hardened, I cut a little piece of fabric about one inch by one inch, saturated that with epoxy, and glued that down over the loop just to reinforce that area. So, very simple installation for the recovery cord. And the last part of the rocket is this one piece 3D printed part. It makes up the last one third of the body tube, the fins, and the motor bay. It has this reduced shank on it that allows it to simply slide onto the rest of the body tube. Now this rocket is going to launch from a standard Estes launch rod, so instead of gluing a little tube on the side for the launch rod, I simply integrated the tube into the 3D print. The motor bay is designed to hold an Estes B or C style motor. This is an Estes C6-5 motor. The C6 is the largest motor that Estes makes in this package, and that's what we're going to use to launch it. The motor simply slides in, and there's a small hole on the side of the tube here where we can install a screw, and that will hold the motor in place. This part has a hole that goes all the way through because the Estes motor has a built-in ejection charge. So when the ejection charge fires, the gases come up through the top of this part into the cardboard tube and eject the nose cone. Which brings us to the recovery system. Now I'm not going to use a parachute for this. It's a very small lightweight rocket and it really doesn't need a parachute. So instead, I'm just going to use streamer recovery. So when the nose cone ejects, we're also going to eject about three or four feet of this one inch wide orange streamer. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble this and we'll head out to the launch site. Before we head out to the launch, I want to show you the new Rotary Rocketry plushie. These vibrant, soft plushies are handmade right here in the USA. Makes a great gift for a friend, family member, or just for yourself. Click the link in the description and get your rocket plushie today.